Okay. What? Okay. Hello, I'm Robert Norris. This is the back door to my shop that my son changed the lock on, but I now have a key for entrance into my a great day welding shop. This is the back door and the office door here. I'm going to just do a walkthrough video to show what I believe is my son Anthony Norris uh, uh, obstructing my uh, entrance into my building. And there's a restraining order, temporary restraining order, and a uh, injunction against him preventing me from entering this building. That's my office there. That's my desk. Over here is the East Bay, which is by agreement my son and I entered into. This East Bay is my space for doing my projects. Once again, uh, Tony by an injunction is not to obscure or move any of my property or touch any of my property or change the location. That is a forklift that he has parked in front of that project right there, which, which prevents me from moving it or working on it. And I believe that he is obstructing or outside the requirements of the temporary restraining order. This is the East Bay and it is full of my projects that I have been collecting for many years. And by our agreement, I was to go ahead and come over onto the East Bay after he returned back to Fond du Lac here and uh, work on my retirement projects in here. That, pro that truck has been a project of mine for a number of years, it's been in, pretty much in this bay and it has now moved way back and I don't have access to it because I can't move it because this is parked there. <clears throat> I'm going to just walk up here very quickly. These are that's some of the equipment. This is all my, my personal property. Everything in the shop is my personal property except a few things that Tony bought since he came back here some almost three years ago. This is the East Bay. And on the other side of this wall right here, that partition, there's an equal size, what we call the West Bay. And by agreement, <clears throat> uh, Tony and I entered into an agreement. I would give him my business that I retired from and he would come back to Fond du Lac and operate grade A welding out of the West Bay which is this bay right here. This is the partition between the two. This is all the equipment, my material, my equipment. That's the, that's the west wall of the West Bay. There's a storage above there with the, which I have exclusive rights to. The only thing Tony got by our agreement was the West Bay. I did not give Tony any equipment or any tools. This is all material that was in a stock here and he's used a great deal of it at, of which by our agreement he is to reimburse me for or replace it at fair market value. Those are, that's my equipment. These are welders shelving. Those are Tony's toolboxes. All but one is mine. That welding table right there has been mine for uh, about 40 years. This is my equipment. I gave Tony no equipment. This is my welder. That's my pedestal grinder. That's my air compressor in the corner. That brake press right there, apron brake I bought from Carl Manowski uh, probably 35 years ago. Uh, my property. That's my metal shear. All my equipment. Tony is uh, claiming is his. I'm now going to walk up into the front office, what I call the West Office, which also is exclusively for my use. I have for a number of years collected uh, car parts for my retirement projects and I've kept them and stored them in this office. This is about a 24 by 50 foot room and you can see it is absolutely full of thousands of parts. Sorry for the disorganization but the last couple of years of my life have been helping Tony get the business going and 
have been really gotten away from my projects over here once again car projects also planned for this room is a 1950s soda fountain I intend to put that's a 1950s jukebox right there my intention is to develop a 1950s soda fountain in here with bar stools and a jukebox and uh, that sort of thing decoration uh, and uh, and but for the meantime right now this is all stuff that will complement my gas station outside that's a 1946 Cushman scooter uh, those are porcelain signs one of that the red and white one does in fact belong to Tony he bought that uh, I also have all these other things that will complement my soda fountain and things that will complement the gas station 1950s gas station that is outside over here you can see many many carport car parts these are all vintage lights and here is one of my problems you will note that this door is locked from the inside and I cannot access it from the outside I have a key for it but it won't lock open from the outside and if it did I would have difficulty accessing this room and my parts in this room from here from outside because of what you see outside he has the entire that's my coke machine out there part of my gas station uh, memorabilia project those are the gas pumps out there obscured almost from vision because of what Tony has done. He has pretty much locked it up. These are his vehicles. That's his stove, that's his car, that's his truck. Uh, those are my piers, that's my trailer, and that's his truck. That's my cabinet. Tony put all this stuff out here to block the my filling station, which is widely publicized, very popular, and he is obstructing uh, the access to it. I believe he is not in compliance with his restraining order. I'm going to turn this off now and walk outside. Right, you're not recording, right? Are you recording? Is it? Yeah. Okay, this is once again Robert Norris. I'm on the outside now of my filling station and my Great Day Welding property building. And I want to show you some things that have taken place out here. And I'll be just about done. Uh, so those are my... Uh, Spark shields or grinding shields that I made many years ago. Tony has on both of these, you can see that closed to public. Tony, without permission, has, and he's by the way, not to change the location of any of my property or, or do anything to my property, he has painted both of these closed to public because he is showing a horrible aggression toward me by obscuring access to my filling station. This right here is the front of my filling station. It starts with that fire hydrant, and there's an old tire rack and a Coke machine, which is part of my, the awnings above there. And you can see the Texaco up there above and Texaco up here. That is my gas station, the, the face of the building that I've worked on for parts for those for many years and have been collecting petroleum. I'll put that sign up there if you would. I'm going to just have her, this is uh, a sign that a piece of plywood that Tony painted uh, and put up here as it was up here for a few days and it noticed Isaiah says very rudely go away no photos go away no trespassing welding business only and then down the corner you will note uh, owner Anthony Norris and his signature and it says not Cowboy Bob I am Cowboy Bob and Tony knows that I have a number of car clubs that are, have intended to come here and we've had weddings here and many are scheduled and he is obstructing totally obstructing the view to this gas station from highway 45 which is out there you can lay that down again from here now you can see the vehicles that he's got parked here there's a green truck up there and uh that the grayish, bluish gray car and this truck, all vehicles that are owned by Tony, he has put them here to obscure my gas station and prevent me from entering the building from the front, which he knows where all my parts are. That is my trailer. It's a 24 foot steel trailer, utility, which I have three of that I built a number of years ago. 
those are the gas pumps and the island that were put in and the pretty much the main item on my gas station almost obscured from the highway which is right out there and you can see how locked up that's Tony's uh, camper trailer he just recently got this is my AEAD portable welder and you will note it is locked preventing my access to it I don't think he can do that also he had by our agreement he is also to uh, the same guy that has done my lawn care for over 25 years it still serves grade day welding and Tony by our agreement is to maintain all the overhead which is including waste management which is that's what this is you can see that lock right there and you can see this lock over here and this dumpster serves both my shop the building here and that home back there that's my residence so once again Tony is obstructing and preventing the access to this equipment these are, this is the island that contains the 1950s pumps, all retro, all stuff that is part of my project for many years. That is my pickup truck. That's Tony's stuff right there, the barrels and the stuff that he put there to prevent people from even parking uh, next to that stuff and taking a picture. There have been dozens and dozens of photo, photo op shoots here, photo and weddings here, uh, and people are scheduled to come and they can't get here and I don't have the, any way to contact these people and I feel so terrible about it. This stuff I believe needs to be gone and I'm gonna have my attorney take care of that for me. I just wanted to document this. That's Tony's red truck. <clears throat> I'm just walking out, that's my 1950 Ford which is part of the display of my gas station. That's a 1965 Ford Fairlane 500 and a 1937 Plymouth Coupe. From here now you can see the front of my gas station a little better. I worked so hard getting this thing ready to go and Tony pretty much has locked me out of it. I guess I'm going to, uh, like I said, call my attorney and see if I can't get something done about it and I'm going to provide him with this video. Once again, this is Robert Norris. This is May 9th, uh, about three or, three or four in the afternoon. Uh, thank you.